completes we have some general transaction code let's discuss about the uh, normal transaction codes here so we have discussed about the just to recap what we discussed till now okay so recapping activities we discussed about the sap work process administration part as part of this one we discussed about the the background jobs this is the one of the important topic sap background jobs so then logon groups creation logon groups creation background jobs and we discussed about the client administration part so these are the topics we discussed here the client creation like are the client copies in that the local client copy is important here local client copy is very important here client local client copy locally copying the client data from so one client to client copies right one client to another client that is what we discussed here so let's come to the some of the sap daily transaction codes here daily so monitoring transaction code monitoring p codes here so before we go with the sap transport management system let's discuss about the sap daily monitoring transaction codes here why because in the in our group there are the many members are the freshers or there are some people three years four years like one year two years up to so but definitely any any experienced guy so you should know about the monitoring of the sap systems why because our day starts with the as soon as you log into the office work office law office then then you need to start doing the monitoring of the your sap systems sap production systems you need to do the monitoring of the your sap the production systems here daily monitoring activities here so what are those daily monitoring activities what we have to do here right so coming to the daily monitoring here the first one we need to check the SICK normal transaction code right so normally we discussed about this one here normally we discussed about this one here SICK to check the consistency check consistency check here we will log into the SAP system same way how we are logged into the system then we will open the SAP logon pad then here open the SAP system here so then here we will do the transactions here right we will do the transactions here right health checks both are same daily monitoring or health checks are both are same here health checks means so our system is healthy or not we need to check it out here so SICK is the transaction code here SICK so here we need to check the are there any errors are reported as part of the our monitoring checks right that is the one of the thing here the second one is called the so some companies they may change it the order may be changed but there are the some standard monitoring transaction codes are there here okay so second one is the st22 above runtime errors st22 above runtime errors we can see it here so above runtime errors so here if we go to the st22 here we can see are there any runtime errors are reported in the system or not so those things we need to know are there any yesterday are there any run critical errors db sql error or anything is reported or not so yes both are same is reported or not here we can see clearly all the details here right so those are the things we need to check and we need to investigate why this is happening that is the secondary investigation is secondary but we need to report those issues here the next one sm21 is the system locks here we need to check the system locks are there any critical system error messages are there any errors here so those things we need to check it out here those things we need to check it out here so there is a jobs are failing you can see some jobs are failing here suppose example you can see it here <coughs> jobs are failing jobs are failing here job step user fail jobs are failed some some jobs related information is there so which means the jobs are failing here jobs are failing here sm21 the jobs are failing here so then the next one we can go to sm37 here we can check here sm37 here we need to check the 
if any active jobs go to the sm37 here we need to check the are there any long running jobs in the system or not so long running jobs means active so time from yesterday to today or the last 24 hours or more than that are there any active jobs in the system or not so we don't see any active jobs but let's see cancelled jobs here cancelled jobs here so cancelled jobs you can see here there is a one job is keep on failing one job here is to keep on failing in the system right you see job is keep on failing in the system right so why this job is getting cancelled here right if we go to the here see the logs what's happening in the system here right see here what's happening in the system here so here the logon user like the ddic user step is starting the failed which means which means here the user which we are using here that got failed here which means in the double zero one client the double zero one client the ddic user got locked i think so maybe we can log into the system with the double zero we can log into the double zero one client double zero one client so double zero one client user is locked so see here to fix the job related errors see here log on for user in the client is failed so which means which means this jobs so whatever the jobs here you can see here so this jobs are getting failed here due to user got locked so this type of issues we have to identify and we have to fix we have to identify and we have to fix the issues here the job is getting failed we have to identify and we need to fix it all these type of errors here right so this is our duty regular duty here right so then sm37 right so normally we need to change the job step user right suppose like let's fix the one of the issue go to the job suppose this is the job select the job go to the change mode then step your ddic mentioned so normally we can change the status to be <laughs> something like id admin right so this job is changed now this job it won't fail so like this you can see what other jobs are failing because of the user is locked so all the jobs are getting failed here so now you see this is the one of the job is getting failed here this is also job is getting failed here these all are the scheduled status so then see this is also scheduled status here so this is also released this is also released this job this is the all our scheduled status here okay so only this job related data is getting failed but what about this one so this is also same this is also same so in that case what we can do let's remove the dates here so i'm trying to fix the the job related errors here I'm trying to fix the, the job related errors here. Let's just only released one. So there are a the lot of the lot of are there for released one. So this all will fail as per the steps. This all will fail here. Only less are there. So what we have to do, we need to change it. We need to change the we need to change the job change. Go to the start. So here DDSE there. We need to change the job to the some other user we have to change it here like that we need to start it here right so like that we have to change for all those things we need to change it here so job step user is getting failed so that is what we have to fix that issues here right 
So that is the SM37. We need to check the are there any active jobs or long running jobs in the system. So that we have to check it out here. Right. So that is the one. The next one SM50 to check the work process overview. Work process, work process overview. Work process overview means to check here in the SM50 transaction code. Go to the SM50 <coughs> to see. Are there any the work process are in the private mode? In the work process are in the private mode or is in the running from long time. Here you can see the time frame based upon the time frame. We can check it out. So nothing is running from long. So no no errors here. SM51 to check the active app servers. To check the active application servers here. SM Fifty one here. SM fifty one active application servers. We can check it out here. Suppose in the production you have the three or four application servers are active, but when it comes to the when it comes to the here you see only two are there. But as per your checklist, three four should be there here. Three are only means one is down. Then we need to take the action accordingly here. Right. So that is the application server instance. That is the application server instance related things we need to check it out here right so that is the application server right so that is the sm51 here then sm66 here the global work process overview global work process overview that you know all the application servers related things we can see so then normally this transaction course also you know sm04 list of all users logged in users and al08 right so these are the daily related transaction codes here sm12 this is one of the daily monitoring transaction code here sm12 so go to the sm12 and see are there any lock entries which are older than 24 hours right older than 24 hours see here any lock entries here right basis now only we logged in here right health monitoring so I think it's a cloud ALM related things here, right? Any, any lock entries which are older than 24 hours, we need to take the action here, right? So nothing is there, nothing. Go to the SM13 to check if any failed update records, update records here. Go to the SM13 here, go to the SM13 here. So here, check the, in the last 24 hours our entire system, are there any failed update records? Yes, we need to take the action. Nothing, nothing. So check the whether the update is active or not. Update is active, right? So then that check also complete. These are the checks we need to check. We need to fill the Excel sheet. So there is a checklist instructions are there in my, uh, I will share the instruction sheet, right? So then <coughs> daily monitorings. So then once we done it here, background jobs, pool and message server. So all the work process related things, gateway, SMGW. So in the SMGW here, check the, so are there any connections here, right? Are there any connections are there in the SMGW connection here, right? So are there any connections which is saying that so connect in disconnect or connect something anything here if yes then we need to we need to check first that the user so my user is connected so that's why internal communication purpose is so using so connect and disconnect we can select it then we can reset the connections here so with my user three connections initiated but the limit is the 2000 connections only if the 2001 is coming then definitely there is a issue here definitely there is a issue here Right, we need to cancel that thing here. We need to cancel that one here. Okay, that is the SMGW here. Right, so this is also one of the monitoring transaction codes here. So then, so apart from that, SMLG. Okay, this is also one important thing here. Log on groups here. So go to SMLG transaction code here. SMLG transaction code. So here we can check the the response time application server response time here right here the application server response time we need to check what is the so application server response time here so here 
what is the status of the application server what is the response time how many users are there all the information so we can check it out here all the information we can check in the so smlg here so here response time so normally if it is the more response time the four digits something five digits like there is a issue with the rest yes yeah, cpu memory we need to check that one here that is called the response times here application server response time here smlg so then apart from that so we need to check the then there is a sm58 transactional rfc's here that will come as part of the, our class here so then uh transactional rfc's sm58 then sost to check the any outbound email spending or not so those things it will come and but where this is not discussed but that's why i'm just giving the overview on this one then st02 <clears throat> st03 then st04 db01 then db02 and dba cockpit and db13 and db12 database planning calendar all this will come under the our uh, monitoring checklist only all will come under the our daily monitoring checklist only here all the transaction codes database related sap related st06 so st06 and st07 and database related hana cockpit all will comes under the daily monitoring only but these are this we have not discussed okay so but we'll discuss about these things as well okay it will come so just giving a glance how what how to perform this daily monitoring just as a day need to log into the all the trans so we need to log into the system okay this is only sap system level sap above system level transaction daily monitoring transaction code means health status so while doing this transaction codes you will come to know what happened and what are the issues and we have to fix those issues here like how we fixed the sap the same way we can fix it out here all right so that is the thing here right so here okay so that is the so sap side issues here so now let's talk about the now let's talk about the uh okay the daily monitoring after the 